image slider or carousel, it's a pretty popular component of any website. You might have already known that I have already built 4 different sliders or carousel. If you haven't watched that, I'll provide you a link in the description below you can check out. But in this video, we will learn how to build 3D image slider. You might ask, there are hundreds of videos on image slider, why this video? In this video, we will take our 3D image slider to next level. What do I mean next level? With the help of Venla JavaScript, we will generate dynamic angles, spaces for different images so that in future if you add any extra new images to your slider, you don't have to provide all the angles manually. And most importantly, you can avoid all the complex calculations. Without further ado, let's start. Hello and Namaste everyone, this is Jitsar with Coding Design. Welcome to our channel, if you are new here, please be sure to hit that subscribe button. Firstly, you can see within our images folder, there are 6 different images. And now let's create index.html file. Within that if I type exclamation sign and hit that tab button, then you will get this basic HTML code. Now let's give the title. For the title I'm giving 3D image slider using vanilla javascript. Now within the body tag, let's create div with class name container. And within that, again I'm creating another div with class name gallery. Within that, let's create image tag. For this source I'm giving images slash image1.png. Now let's duplicate it for more 5 times. Now let's change the images name. With the help of live server extension, let's open this index.html file in our default browser. Now in your browser you can see this huge images. Let's create a standard CSS file. And just build the title tag, we are giving link for our standard CSS file. Within the CSS file, for the universal selector, I am giving margin and padding of 0. So that will prevent your browser's default margin and padding. And also for the box sizing, I am giving border box. So that it will help you to include your padding as well as border within your width and height. Now for the div with class name gallery, I am giving width of 15 rem. And for the image that is within our div with class name gallery, I am giving width of 100%. That means I am giving the same 15 rem. Now in our browser, you can see proper size of images. And also for the image, let's give position of absolute and class gallery that is our parent element. So for the day with class name gallery, I'm giving position of relative. Now let's tell that day with class name container. So for the container, I'm giving minimum height of 100 feet. For the background color, I'm giving this dark blue color. Let's give display to flex. If I give justify content to center, that will bring your content horizontally centered. Similarly, for the div with class name gallery, let's give top to 6.5 rem. Now you can see our content is overflowing. So for the div with class name container, I am giving overflow to hidden. And now I want to rotate all these 6 different images. For that, for our image, I am giving transform. Let's give rotate 3D. So it will take 4 values, x-axis, y-axis, z-axis and the angle. So for the x-axis and z-axis I am giving 0 and for the y-axis I am giving 1. That means I am rotating in y-axis. And for the angle as you know 360 degree that makes the complete circle. So if I divide by 6, that 6 represents the total number of images. And now total that makes 60 degree. But I want to rotate all the 6 images in 60 degree equally in circular shape. So for that, you can multiply this angle with image number CSS variable. But as you can see, we haven't created that CSS variable. So you can do something like you can take the same image that is within our day with class name gallery. And for that image, I'm giving nth child pseudo element. And within that, let's give one. And for the first image, let's give the same CSS variable name image number. And we are giving the value one. That means we are targeting the first image. Now you can select this code and duplicate it for more five times. Based on the position of image, we'll take the same positions number and we'll give different value for our image number CSS variable. For the second image, we'll give 2, for the third, 3 and so on. Now our images they are rotating in circular shape, but we need to give distance between all the images. For that, you can give translate G. 
and giving 25 frame but you can't see any proper changes it's because we are rotating our images in y axis and we are rotating in 3d so in order to make it 3d for the parent that is the div with custom gallery we have to give the transform style so if we give bridge of 3d it will help you to convert 2d plane into 3d plane i mean all the children's that is within our day with class name gallery they will maintain their position in 3d space and also i'm giving transform rotate 3d for the x-axis we are giving zero for the y-axis one and for the z-axis zero and also for the angle 20 degree and also you can change that x-axis to minus 0.5 now in order to see properly in 3d space you need to change your perspective so you can give their perspective for the perspective i'm giving 1500 pixel now let's take our browser to the full screen finally did you see that with the help of that perspective you are able to see all these images in 3d space all these images they are the png images so because of that you may not see proper rotation so for the image i'm giving background color to white and in order to give that rounded corners i'm giving border radius of one rim now you are able to see proper rotations or angle of images and also you can change that 3d rotation of x-axis to something like minus one now in your browser did you see that so let me make it clear that x-axis in 3d space it rotates from top to bottom or bottom to top talking about y-axis it rotates from left to right or right to left and talking about z-axis it rotates in circular shape or clockwise or anti-clockwise okay something like this for the perspective, I want to change that 1500 pixel to 2000 pixel. Okay, now it's looking much more better. Now I want to give the animation. So I want to rotate in circular shape. For that, for the animation name, I'm giving circular rotate. For the animation duration, I'm giving 18 seconds. For the timing function, let's give linear. And for the animation iteration count, I'm giving infinite. So we are rotating our image forever. But as you can see, we haven't created that animation. So let's create that animation name circular rotate. For that, let's give add keyframes. I'm giving that animation name and at 100% or you can write there too. You can duplicate that same transform code and bring it down there. Initially, you can see we are rotating in 20 degree, but at 100%, let's rotate to 360 degree. Now in your browser, did you see that? You'll get a kind of weird animation. So it's because in 3D space, we are rotating our x-axis as well. Because of that, you are getting that kind of animation. So if I change that x-axis to zero, that means we are not rotating in x-axis. We are just rotating in y-axis. Now in your browser, did you see that? But the problem with this approach is that you can see we are manually calculating all the angle of images as well as number of images. We need to make it dynamic so that in future, if you add extra more than one image, in that case, like you know, you need to manually change all this value. And in future, that might be a kind of headache. So now you can just comment out that animation and in order to make all the values dynamic we are taking the help of javascript code there are very few lines of javascript code so i'm just using internal javascript just above the end of body tag let's create a script tag and within that let's select all these images i'm creating constant variable images and i'm assigning document dot query selector and be careful i'm using their query selector all it's because i'm trying to select all the images that is within our day with class name gallery now we need to iterate all these images so for that i'm taking the help of for each method now for the array you can give that images variable and for each image i'm representing it as image now in order to make that css code dynamic you can write something like image dot style dot so you can just copy this whole transform code and also we are making it dynamic so we don't need this code you can remove this all codes and you can paste it there and now instead of that colon let's give equals to i'm wrapping hold this code with backtick in your keyboard just above the tab button or next to number one key you can find out this symbol so now with the help of this template tutorials you will be able to manipulate your string and javascript variable easily but previously you can see we have calculated all these angles for different images manually so let's make it dynamic for that let's create a variable name image angle and I'm assigning 360 so that is the 360 degree if we divide by total number of images so in order to calculate the total number of images first of all let's select that day with class name gallery so again I'm creating another separate variable name gallery let's assign document.query selector so we are selecting the debut class name gallery and now you can divide by gallery dot children dot length now with the help of this code you will be able to calculate total number of images and hold this code will give you the required angle that we need for our images now instead of that angle you can replace with this variable name image angle and also previously you can see for that 60 degree we did multiply with 
image number CSS variable. So again, we need to give that image number as well. For that, within our callback along with image, you can pass the index that represents position of our each image. And it starts from zero. That means that zero will give you the first image. One will give you the second image and so on. But I only started from one instead of that zero. So within that small bracket, I'm giving there I plus one so that we'll start our index from one. And now we need to multiply it. Now, finally in our browser, did you see that? It's working completely fine and all those values they were dynamic uh, and also when you take your mouse near to these images i want to give cursor to pointer so that you will get pointing hand icon and also i want to give some reflection for that you can give their web kit box reflect for the direction let's give below because i want to give our reflection just below the image and for the offset value let's give point to rim and we want to show some portion of image so for that let's give the linear gradient color for the first color let's give transparent and for the second color let's give this black color with some transparent value and in your browser you can see that reflection but it's a bit high so let's give two more transparent color okay now it's perfect now I want to give some extra feature something like when you click your specific image I want to rotate it okay so we want to give something called image slider so for that for each image let's give dot on click and I am assigning arrow function as callback so whenever you are clicking any specific image at the time again you can take that gallery variable and I am writing dot style dot again we are taking the same approach that we have taken just a moment ago so again you can copy that same transform code that we have given in css and now you can paste that code instead of that colon let's give equals to and let's wrap hold this code within our backtick now for the rotate 3d let's change that angle okay so that angle will be the same dynamic value that we have calculated just a moment ago now you can copy the same code and paste it there and make sure you are rotating your y-axis in anti-clockwise direction so for that i am giving their minus one in your browser did you see that if i click specific image you will be able to rotate but you are not getting that smooth transition for that for our class gallery you can give the transition i'm giving duration of two seconds and once again in our browser if i click that image okay now you'll get that smooth transition and images they are rotating but you might have noticed that our images they are not rotating in circular shape so it's because we are giving that prospective value after our 3d rotation so let's reverse that position okay so before that rotation let's give that prospective value and make sure that there is one single white space otherwise it won't work now once again if i click that image did you see that now you are able to get that beautiful circular rotation and which is in 3d in CSS as well, let's change that perspective. Just bring it in front of our 3D rotation. Now you can play with this X axis and Y axis as well as Z axis value. Accordingly, you will get different animation or rotation and you can give any specific value that you like. Okay, if I change all this value, look at that, you will get totally different animations. But if you want to give different coordinates separately, then you can do that. For that, you can give separately rotate X and I'm giving minus 30 degree along with that let's give rotate y I'm giving 0 degree and in your browser did you see that you will get totally different rotation what if I change that rotate x to minus 20 degree did you see that you can adjust all these values in the angle that you prefer now you can apply the same code within our javascript code as well okay so you can just copy this code and instead of that rotate 3d you can remove this code and just paste it there just be careful for the rotate y axis angle we are giving just dynamic value so just make sure that all the brackets and the css unit that is the degree that is in proper format and make sure there is proper white space as well okay otherwise it won't work once again in our browser if i click any specific image did you see that you will get this beautiful 3d image slider For the keyframe as well, you need to change that value. So instead of that rotate 3D, you can give that specific rotate x-axis and y-axis value. And for the x-axis, I want to change that minus 15 to 15 degree. Initially, you can see we are rotating in 0 degree, but at 100%, let's rotate to 360 degree. And once again, if I uncomment that animation in your browser, did you see that? You will be able to get this beautiful 
3D rotating circular shape animation. So once again, you can play with this all X axis and Y axis value as well as you can give rotate Z as well. Okay. So yeah, you can just play with this value. And now for the last time, what if I give the six more images? That means total we have 12 images. In your browser, you can see although all the images, they are placed in proper angle, but there isn't any kind of space between them. It's because for our translate Z, we have given 25 rem, which was the static value. So we need to make it dynamic as well. For that, now we can wrap the value within the dollar curly bracket and as I have already told you that with the help of that code you will be able to get total number of images so now you can take the same code and paste it there I'm multiplying with 3 and make sure at the end you have to give the rim that is the CSS unit make sure that there isn't any kind of white space otherwise it won't work once again in your brother did you see that you'll be able to get proper space proper angle and rotations they are working perfectly now if I remove that 6 images and in your browser you can see because of that translate Z where we have given their dynamic value um, because of that now you can see there is a bit less space between the images and I think it's fine. Uh, you can uncomment that animation and if I click any specific image you can see that beautiful rotation and because of that rotate X axis initially we are giving that beautiful animation so you can make that value dynamic as well okay so that you'll be able to get different rotation but in your browser you can see whenever you are taking your mouse near to these images you won't be able to recognize like whether you are taking your mouse or not okay so for that for our image when you are hovering at the time Let's change that white background color to something to LS blue. Once again, in your browser, did you see? When you take your mouse near to that images, you will be able to get that light sky blue color. Now you can see this beautiful 3D image slider. So this video was a bit lengthy because we did lots of things. Something like we did calculate our dynamic value or angles that we need for our images. So in future, whenever you are adding any extra new images at that time, you don't need to calculate all the required angles manually for all the images. I hope this video was helpful or you did learn something. So that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you did learn something, smash that like button. If you have any kind of queries, let me know in the comment box. Share this video if you think someone needs it. And also, if you haven't already ate, hit that subscribe button and also the notification bell icon. Remember, there is always more to learn. So, keep learning.